Okay, so I couldn't wait any longer, and I want to see more knockouts by this Japanese monster. Personally, I like to call him the Kraken because it looks like he has eight arms with how many angles of knockouts he can do. But you know what? I'm not going to waste any more time. So let's just jump into the video and see some pumpage. The monster. The monster. The Japanese fighter called Monster. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy. Last he's, week was he, lit. he's better than Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was doing like that. You guys think he's better than Manny Pacquiao? The most efficient hunting Ooh. machine in all of boxing. He's vicious. Naoya Inoue Power is a punch. Japanese professional boxer nicknamed the Monster. Inoue is renowned for his timing, speed, punching power, and body punching ability, boasting an impressive knockout ratio of 90.4%. He is a four-division world champion and the second male boxer to achieve undisputed champion status in two different weight classes Ow. in the four-belt era. Now, let's watch all of his knockout victories. Hells yeah, let's do it! Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Yeah, this guy, this was nuts. This was nuts. This was nuts. At times, frustrating. You know? His hands are like that. Oh, the anyway, thumps. Anyway, throw a shot and then he'll... Oh, yeah, in a way. He's now the first I like it when he has blonde Asia hair. It looks like he's uh, on another Undisputed level, like a Super Saiyan, you know? Look at all those belts, all man. All are his. The king of the Bantamweights. The now he in Inoue. On October 2nd, 2012, Naoya Inoue made his debut in the professional boxing scene against Chris Omayao from the Philippines. So he's going back from the bottom, like from his first knockout. In the first so round, the monster punished the Filipino ones. fighter with devastating body shots. The first Filipino guy, fighter endured strength. the pain and continued to dance with Inoue, but the monster delivered heavy punishment nonetheless. <sighs> the fight lasted four rounds, and Inoue finished his adversary with shotgun-like body shots. I would want to see him and uh, the tank fight. Dude. These both, these guys both have like strong punches and are like The Filipino fighter was writhing in pain, man. showing me. the toll of Inoue's relentless assault. The monster claimed victory in his first fight with a devastating body shot knockout. Three months later, Naoya fought his next opponent and finished him with just one punch. Oh, oh, just that punch in, sent his bro. opponent into another dimension. It looked like he came in slapping and it just got clocked in the face, dude. His oh opponent just smiled and accepted his fate. Uh, he also in doesn't look like fight, he should be boxing. Naoya fought against another Japanese fighter, Yuki Kono. He looks so young here. Now he looks the like a monster sent his fellow Super countrymen Saiyan. to the canvas in the early rounds of the fight. However, he decided to continue enduring punishment from Inoue's punches, delivered with violent intentions. Yeah, mad respect that you keep going. But in the 10th and final round, the referee had seen enough and stopped the monster. No way. Yo, so he didn't even get knocked out, he just got a beating and the ref's like, nah, you're done. No way. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Gave him a definition of a monster. Wild. After securing the Japanese light flyweight title, Naoya faced Jerson Mancio in a bout for the vacant Oriental and Pacific light flyweight belt. As always, Naoya mm. dominated his adversary, schooling him with a boxing mm. masterclass. Uh, wow, he's so fast. The monster pounded Mancio's face like a punching bag with his powerful oh, punches. Oh, and his speed, literally, the way he uh, uses his footwork to get around the ring is like In the second impressive. round, Mancio was knocked down by Inoue's forceful wow. blows. The fighter decided to persist, but in the fifth round, the monster went on a rampage, ultimately finishing the fight. Oh, the dodge, the dodge. I've never been this excited about a dodge. Done, done, done. Ref's coming in. My goodness. These can't be sound effects. I know board film does it, but come on, you can hear the thumping of gloves meeting the face. On 
On his sixth fight, Naoya Anoe challenged the then current WBC World Light Flyweight Champion, Adrian Hernandez. Hi. As a challenger, Inoue fearlessly unleashed lethal body blows on Hernandez. Has he fought like good fighters? They, I mean, no offense, I know I can't box, but these guys, either he's making them look bad, or these guys aren't really good boxers. The monster boxers. made it seem like think? the champion was an amateur. Okay, yeah. That, that's what in it their makes sixth me. Round, it feels like they they're amateurs in against... Uh, trading blows as if depositing guy. them in their own bank accounts. Nayoya dropped the champion wow, with a subatomic right-hand punch. Yeah. Yo, he's so fast! The champion seemed to give up, ultimately making yeah, Nayoya the new WBC light flyweight champion. He made a champion? He made a champion in boxing look like an amateur. Wow. After becoming the world champion, Nayoya defended his title. His challenger from Thailand lasted until the 11th round in their title fight. But the referee halted the monster's relentless onslaught, calling an end to the fight. Naoya Inoue relinquished his belt and moved up a division to challenge the WBO World Super Flyweight Champion Omar Narvaez. In the first round, the Southpaw Narvaez was left stunned by the monster's immense power. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you're playing uh, like video games and Naoya then you have like a CC or a stun, in the first like a crowd control. Just stunned. Like you use an ability and just stunned. Narvaez managed to survive He's the first to round, but there. soon realized that their skills and power were not on equal footing. Yeah, it's just not fair. This guy needs a nerf. He's, In the second round, fair. Naoya completely decimated Narvaez, demonstrating overwhelming superiority in the fight. Wow, he's so fast. Yeah. Quick. And he finished him with a bone-crushing body blow. Oh, a body blow finish, dude. I want to see him in the tank fight, man. Oh, my God. The monster versus the tank. The monster successfully claimed his second division Ooh. world championship title. Godzilla versus the army, you know? Army Naoya then tanks. proceeded to defend the super flyweight world title, facing Warlito Parenas as his first challenger. Are they even, even in the Naoya same division? Naoya easily defended his title, showcasing a superior performance and outclassing Parenas. Yo, his footwork and dancing Arena around survived the, the first Holy, onslaught, very but the monster was eager to secure a finish. He's charging up his back fist. Let's go. Ooh, wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -hmm. The exchange is the combo. In the next fight, Naoya faced a tough opponent, and their battle persisted until the 10th round. But Naoya Inoue showcased wow, precisely dude. why he's the his, world champion, oh, his demonstrating invasion. his exceptional skill. The way he moves and dodges is also really impressive. Beating his opponent until his body collapsed, he secured the victory. Yeah, damn, you're, t you're that tired and you can still dodge. Holy. Yeah, Davis like knocks people out where this guy gets the reps to stop. Like. Wow, but he's super fast and his he, he can dodge. So it'll be a really interesting fight. The monster's has, like, the next challenger was Koji Kono, the tank another has, like, Japanese power fighter. Aggression. In their clash, Naoya displayed combinations at a monster level. Both of them would have crisp, crisp combos. I would love to see that. The monster proved he's a true champion, showcasing exceptional skill and power, dominating the fight convincingly. Ooh, nice uppercut. In the sixth round, yeah, Naoya Inoue oh, shocked Kono cut. with a knockout reminiscent of Manny Pacquiao's style. How does he still have an Adam's apple? Oh, he even took the hit. Nice. Wow. Unlike Hatton, Kono managed to stand up. 
to be completely destroyed by the monster. Yeah, and dang, that combo is fast. The monster's winning streak continued with 12 wins, 10 of which were by knockout. His next challenger for the WBO Super Flyweight belt was Ricardo Rodriguez. In the early rounds, Naoya peppered Rodriguez with sharp and forceful punches from both sides. Oh, in the wait, third he round, had to, it was he in his utilized his left hand like a shotgun, anyone top 15 delivering above, precise right? blows to Rodriguez. He had to always, he wanted to always fight the best. Dang, he makes him look really bad. Wow. The Mexican survived the first onslaught, but the monster was eager to defeat him. Like I said, I'm a nub. I'm a nub in boxing, but like, it's just what I see, how the, you know, the monster makes others look like. I'm not saying that they're bad, it's just that's how it looks like, man. It makes them look like puny human. Nayoya's next challenger is Easy. from America, marking his first fight in the States as he defends his world title. In the first round, Naoya hits his opponent with a damaging 1-2 combo. 1-2. In the final seconds of the second round, Nevis is saved by the bell. Hey, I don't like that hair. Not orange. Blonde. Has to be bleach blonde. I'm glad he fixed it. However, in the fifth round, Nevis couldn't be saved as he was hunted down by the monster. One or two more of those, you could end this fight, Jim. The monster landed a blow to his midsection, sending him to the canvas. Take that knee. Propose, first baby. Propose. Will you Naoya be my seized champion? the opportunity and focused his attack solely on Nevis's body. Yes, I will. He's got to propose one more time. He said no, though, for the first time. Propose, During round baby. six, Naoya unleashed a series of vicious blows punishing Antonio. Ah, yo, he's got to propose one more time. Yo. Yo, they're stopping it. The fight was stopped by Nevis's trainer. The upcoming fight marks Naoya Inoue's final bout in the super flyweight Your division. Your coach didn't the even believe in you, bro. Yoan Boyo is a boxer boasting 41 wins. However, his experience did not save him from the monster. <laughs> Naoya made him feel the power of his left hand. Oh. Fortunately, wow. he was saved by the bell at the end of the first round. But the monster dominated and overwhelmed him in the following rounds. <laughs> The monster repeatedly brought him to his knees before delivering the finishing blows. Oh, and he took a knee too. He's like, yo, can you be my champion? Valentine's Day. Mm. Can you be my Valentine? Dang. This guy's so fun to watch. Yo, I like him and Davis. I wouldn't even watch Davis's uh, knockout videos because Naoya I feel like his documentary moved up to his third division, all his knockouts. Bantamweight, and challenged the WBA World Bantamweight Champion, Jamie McDonnell. But this fight didn't make the monster break a sweat because he demolished McDonnell in the first round. Oh. Hey, dude. These guys are bigger than him, he too. He completely destroyed him. Showcasing superior skill and power. I guess not power. bigger, but taller, like longer reach. And he's still... Yeah! Give it to him! Making Naoya Inoue a three-division so world he, champion. It's like two people against one, because the referee is just now, really making sure, you know? the monster will compete in the really World Boxing sure. Super Series for the Muhammad Ali Trophy. The first opponent he'll face, unfortunately for him, is Juan Carlos oh, Payano. Good luck. Dang, this After guy the looks... bell rang, the monster finished Payano oh, with just it's... two punches. It's Muhammad Ali trophy, right? Oh, I've seen this. Oh, yeah, this, this is what started it all. That's what started it all. Unreal. Yeah, wow. That's what got me in his mind. Referee again. Over. The monster continued in the tournament and faced his next opponent, Emmanuel Rodriguez. In the first round, Naoya played it safe, patiently waiting for the right opportunity. Oh, yeah. These smoke guys are dangerous. Fast and dangerous. 
Big shot to the body, in a way. But in the second round, Naoya switched to monster mode and completely dominated Rodriguez. Some flow. He's got to get his Rodriguez. Here comes in a way. Oh, he's got it to take much more than that. In a way, he's waiting. Two minutes to go, Jim. This is unbelievable for in a way. After clinching the World Boxing Series, Naoya was challenged by Jason Maloney for the IBF and WBA Bantam weight belts. But, as always, Naoya Inoue destroyed the challenger, finishing him with devastating right. punches to Aww. secure the knockout. Will be a household name. The next challenger is the Filipino oh, veteran, again. Michael Dasmarinas. However, it is what it is, Naoya boys. easily defeated him with bone-crushing punches, hammering his ribs in the third round. Seeing Davis fight and now him, man. The monster then faced another Japanese styles, fighter, uh, Alan Dipe. Wow. This fight Lethal. lasted until the eighth round, but Naoya finished it with another knockout win. Because these guys, all they do is they knock out their opponents. Like the referees have to stop for safety. Aaron needed assistance after yeah, the fight. Yeah, they need to stop the fight, man. Naoya's next opponent is the Hall of Famer, Nonito Donaire. Oh, yeah, for their rematch fight. after Naoya defeated him in the World Boxing Super Series. Yeah, Donair. I remember this. This guy was like, he, uh, he was older, but he was supposed to be like really good. Mm. Filipino, right? It was like a decision fight. Cut on the upper eye, he broke his hand. Yeah, I think I remember this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decision. But in the rematch, Naoya yeah, the rematch completely dominates the legend, ooh. beating him via a second round knockout. Mode. Bambi legs. Welcome to the world, newborn. Yo, that's such a cool, like, look. All black and white with blonde hair. Yo. Not fully blonde either. It's like streaks. It's and like backstreet. And then Naoya boys. fought Paul Butler to become the undisputed champion in the bantamweight division. Their clash went the distance, with Butler surviving until round 11, but the monster just dismantled him, treating him like a punching bag. Mm. He's done. Yow! Unreal, magnificent. Naoya man. Inoue then moved up a weight class to super bantamweight and challenged Stephen Fulton for the WBC and WBO but super bantamweight Fulton. belts. The American was outclassed this. by the Japanese monster in the eighth yeah. round, succumbing to the onslaught and facing defeat. Yeah, these were brutal too. The guy's lost, man. He needs to cut that ponytail because it's not working for him. Or rat tail. This victory crowned Naoya as a four division world champion. And just Four five months later, man. Naoya fought the IBF and WBA Super Bantamweight champion, Marlon Tapales. Back to the blonde hair. I love, uh, him with blonde hair, I guess it's more gold. He Amazing. finished Tapales in the 10th round with his explosive right hand. Oh, these guys are drunk. Oh. 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 Done. 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 He's done. I love knockouts. It's getting easier and easier to watch them and also understand what's going on in the ring. But I mean, it's just wonderful to see, you know, like the footwork, the combos. You can almost kind of anticipate some of them, but some of them come out of nowhere. And like I said before, it would be awesome to see the tank versus this monster man. Those two are just so fun to watch. I know I watched Davis yesterday, but it's like these two, like in the lighter divisions, man, I gotta see more of these. This is fantastic. I don't know if they're in the same weight division as well. So 
it might not even be possible but i don't have to see gervonta's knockouts because the board film documentary already did that dude every match was a knockout it's insane but i didn't really get a chance to really see the monster kind of knock his opponents out so i thought it'd be fun to watch but if you guys have any recommendations of other knockout videos that are like fun to watch like this one yo drop it in the comments down below like the video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one cheers for now <laughs> Peace. <laughs>